Hi again guys This update is on the uh, custard apple tropical fruit tree and uh, This year we didn't get any fruit Except for this so That's not gonna do anything for us But it's nice to see that the tree is still in um, you know reproductive uh, mode so that's all we got for 2020 unlike last year when there was a uh, 10 big fat whoppers on here so the video today is something different which um, many of you are not aware of and nor was I until a couple of years ago and that is it's best to remove all these leaves, these old leaves, when you see new growth coming. See this new growth? Right there, that little one there. And why would I do that? Well, to um, encourage the tree to flower sooner. Now, it depends where you are you're in uh, New South Wales or Queensland or Victoria but where I am this guy doesn't get started till uh, when I say started doesn't start flowering till uh, late December so early to mid-summer December January and it doesn't set any fruit until the end of summer that is February and even even March yeah this guy here he came in March. What the heck am I gonna do with a custard apple that starts growing in March? It's like worthless. And you saw why, I just kicked him. <laughs> so you want the fruit set to begin in early summer, not at the end of summer. Otherwise you're gonna end up with a little um, thing like that. So, and to do that, you remove I know not everyone wants to spend time doing this right I get it we're gonna make a mess but uh, that's the only way to get this guy to it's like giving him a kick it's like giving him a kick hey wake up give me some flowers earlier for the reason I told you right we want fruit coming early early means before winter not after winter because you're gonna end up with that little thing there so I'm gonna pull all, all these leaves off guys and then show you what the tree looks like afterwards now you're asking why doesn't the tree drop the leaves itself yeah it does but guess when here in Victoria I'm not talking about Sydney or Brisbane or Perth here in Melbourne this tree won't drop its leaves until December late December Christmas and now it's what the first week of October so like I said you do it in your location only when you see this that's the indicator from the tree that's the green light that's the green light right there new growth that's how you know there you go there's more new growth see that little thing there that's saying hey I'm waking up but give me a kick so I can wake up faster and what's a kick in terms of uh, trees well pruning and removing leaves we're gonna prune this too there's more new growth coming they're very small very small, you can't see these if you stand back. Look. How are you gonna see it? If you stand here, you can't see what's going on. So you gotta get real close to your tree. If you have children, this is the kind of job you give them to do. <laughs> I wish I had a little kid here now to do this. Well, I would do it with him because I'm also a little kid, right? But we all are. There's a part of us 
well, there's a part in everyone that hasn't um, fully matured. So, oh, what's that? It looks like a... Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave a couple of um, leaves on each one. They're like solar panels. So the tree doesn't die on me. That's the last thing I want to show you. That would be a major embarrassment. Imagine if the tree died. Well, we don't want that. So I'll leave the tips and I'll get all the central leaves out. So this will take, the pen, well, with two hands it'll be quicker. So I'll see you when I'm done. Maybe 10, 15 minutes? Well, you don't have to wait. You'll be back in five seconds. Okay, see you soon. So I've removed around three quarters of the leaves. This is 15 minutes later, by the way. Okay. And when you do this barefoot, you get a sensation by being grounded whilst working. It's really something. It feels like you're in um, a tropical jungle, especially with today's uh, warm weather here in Melbourne. I think it's around 27 Celsius. And I feel a little humidity too. Very nice. All right, so what we're going to do now is um, cut some of these tips. Tip, 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 tip. Would be safer to leave this for another week or two to see if the tree survives, what I just did. And then give it a full-on prune. But I'm pretty confident that it will survive. What do you guys think? Well, it'll be too late by the time you watch it. The damage will be done. I know a lot of you that um, don't like to take risks or have been there and done it before would be saying, stop, don't go any further. Well, guess what? This is, um, it's not a baby tree. It's, um, let's see, six, I got it six years ago. So it would be coming up to seven years old. Yeah, seven years old. And it's tiny. By the way, it's a uh, Paxton Prolific. In case you wanted to know variety self-pollinating you don't have to pollinate this one um, so I think I'm gonna tip tip it as well let's do the tipping so we proceed and we cut that oh look what I just saw a little flower bud so yeah it is time where is it okay hang on hang on hang on flower bud right there see that that's what you want to see you want to see hundreds of these before summer begins these don't normally come well they, they, they have been coming in spring but nothing comes of them they just drop. So that's what we want to see, guys. A lot of these. This is another indicator that it's time to do what I'm doing. And we want a, a shape that resembles a, like a vase or vase for our friends in America. Always got to interpret for you guys. So a vase or vase also it means getting rid of these lower see this is the the shape we want but you want to get rid of the the branches that are down low not the big one here keep that one but um get rid of that get rid of this and get rid of that right and get rid of these guys in here. See those guys in there? One, two, three, gone. Bye-bye. So not only do we get rid of things like that in the middle that are shooting up in our vase, we also get rid of these guys that are shooting down. See that? 
Goodbye. See this one? Goodbye. We want a vase. A vase. Shape. And we also get rid of any of these young ones here. But I'm not going to be doing much as far as uh, holding fruit. See them? They're like in the way. Get rid of this one. That was dead wood. Wow. No life in that. Uh, there's another one there. Get rid of him. There's another one here. Get rid of him. There's another one there in our way. We don't want anything in our way. In the way of our vase. Get rid of all these little young ones. And this goes against our vase shape. Goes against our vase shape. Anything in the way of the vase, you get rid of it. And anything small. <coughs> so now we have an open center. <coughs> See that? Open center. Open center. That's better. That's what we want. And to finish off, guys, we just tip the, the ends. So you go around and tip. This one I did already. That one I did already. Tip. Tip. Mm. Let's say... Tip. Did that one already? Tip. Mm -hmm. Get rid of him. Did him already. Oh, I'm getting flies in my face. Tip. Tip. Mm, ants and flies crawling on me. That's why people don't want to be doing this. It's dirty. It's hot. It's uh, itchy. Come on, guys. This is the real life. Playing on the PlayStation and on your iPhone all day and all night is um, fake news. It's only um, virtual. The virtual reality. This is the real reality. Dead wood again. Did you hear that crack? Got him. Okay, our vase is almost there, but we, I see that this guy here has to go. Him. Right there. Yep. But I can't do it with this. You've got to have the right tools. Let's get the right tool. And cut him off. He's gone. And guess what? We're done. Finito. We are done, guys. So that was the biggest branch I just cut then. It's a little out of shape, but it'll come back because I took out that big one. So a perfect job. So long as the tree doesn't die, of course, from shock. But I'm willing to take that risk because of its age. 
seven years old. If it was um, one or two or three years old, I would not have gone so hard. No way. That would have been um, too risky. Okay. So I've got to clean up this mess now. And... Um, put it in the um, compost thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and I hope you are uh, liked don't be afraid to to do this with experience you get more confident see you from the next video guys don't forget to like, share and also subscribe if you haven't done so yet.